In this problem, we're going to prove that x to the n minus y to the n has x minus y as a factor for all positive integers n. So proof. So we're going to do this using a proof by induction. So proof by induction is a method that allows you to prove a statement about a positive integer n. So our statement is right here. This is uh, going to be our statement. And I'll give it a name. I'll call it s sub n. So the statement is that x to the n minus y to the n has x minus y as a factor. Okay, so in an induction proof, the very first step is called the base case. And this is the case where we show it's true for our starting point. So the smallest positive integer we're working with is 1, because it says all positive integers, and the smallest one is 1. So basically, we have to show our statement is true when n is equal to 1. So if n is 1, then we have x to the 1 minus y to the 1. But that's equal to x minus y. And so the statement is true, because x minus y has x minus y as a factor. So x minus y has, let me just say it has, x minus y as a factor. So s sub 1 is true. Our statement is true when n is equal to 1. Um, the next step is called the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. Some people do these proofs in two steps. Um, I like to take the last step and break it up into two separate steps. It just makes it a little bit more clear, I think. So this is where we assume that our statement is true for some positive integer k. So we just say, suppose... And then basically, we're just going to plug in k here. x to the k minus y to the k. Suppose x to the k minus y to the k has x minus y. Let me write that a little bit cleaner so you can see it. I'm writing kind of small. Has x minus y as a factor. OK. So the next step is the induction step. So this is called the induction step. And in this step, we have to show the statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So I'm going to write down what we have to show. Uh, so I'll say claim, just so that it's easier to figure it out. x to the k plus 1 minus y to the k plus 1 has x minus y as a factor. So that's the claim. So let's show it. So I think the best way to do it maybe is just to write down this and then show it. Let's try it. So then we'll have to do some trickery, but I think we'll be able to do it. x to the k plus 1 minus y to the k plus 1. OK, so we somehow need to involve um, our induction hypothesis here. So I'm thinking maybe something like this, x to the k plus 1. And maybe somehow involve x to the k in a convenient way. So something like this, minus x to the ky plus x to the ky. Basically, we're adding 0. And I chose this because now you see if you factor, um, if you factor out an x here, you'll get, you'll get uh, uh, sorry, I factor out an x to the k, you'll get an x minus y. And then minus y to the k plus 1. So this is what I mean. Watch this. If you pull out an x to the k, you're left with x minus y. That's why I put that there, because uh, so, I wanted to get an x minus y. Notice um, that, again, if you multiply x to the k times x to the 1, you add the exponents. That's how you get the k plus 1. Then plus, and then here we'll pull out a y. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull out a y like this. So this will be x to the k minus y to the k. And now we have the following. We have that note x minus y is a factor of x to the k, x minus y. And x minus y is a factor 
of uh, this piece here. So I'll, I'll put the y there too, just to make it, but it's basically you know, a factor of this piece here, the x to the k y minus y to the k by the induction hypothesis, I'll say by the IH. So it's a factor of both terms, thus it's a factor of the difference, of the sum, which is the right-hand side. Thus, it is a factor of the sum of these terms. So in particular, it's a factor of the right-hand side. So it's a factor of x to the k plus 1 minus y to the k plus 1. So it's a factor is a factor of x to the k plus 1 minus y to the k plus 1. Just writing it down, just to explain it a little bit more. I mean, you can look at it and say, oh yeah, it's a factor of this, a factor of this, you're done. But it's always better to, to explain things. Uh, a little bit more. So we showed that the statement was true when n is equal to k plus 1. So this shows s sub k plus 1 uh, is true. Right? That's what we showed. Uh, and that completes the proof. So thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, I'll say thus by PMI, principle of mathematical induction, uh, s sub n is true for all positive integers n. So nice problem, a little bit different um, than a lot of the other induction problems you see. A lot of them involve sums, and then you have the really hard ones that involve inequalities. People struggle with those. Uh, but this one's a little bit different. Basically, you just have to add and subtract. And, you know, I, you can just guess. You know, if you just add something and try it, chances are it'll work. If it doesn't work, you try something else. But this was nice. I saw this because I immediately thought, okay, if I pull out an x to the k, uh, I'll, I'm left with x. See, even if I just pull it out from here, I'm left with x. So uh, maybe I can put a negative x to the k here uh, along with the y so that when I pull it out, I have x minus y. And then you do the same thing here and it works out. So nice problem. Uh, pretty good uh, induction proof. Uh, another advantage of writing s sub n here, by the way, is that then at the end, you don't have to say it again. You can just say s sub n. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.